Uh, I'm Shannon. Uh, of course, we do. I also try to post a lot of TikToks and recipes. Katerina, I'm going to get you out here right away, though, because I know it is very limited time. And we're talking about this beautiful real olive oil. And I know what people are going to say. It's really a twofer. It has these beautiful white um, pristine bottles, which I know is also protective for the olive oil as well. It's elevated for sure. But I think we could probably start with a little education. Not all olive oil is created alike because everybody has gone to their grocery store. They've gone to the olive, you know, olive oil section. And now we are tempting those taste buds with that one of a kind truly gourmet delight, aren't we? Yes, that's exactly right. Um, you said it very well. And what I'd love to share with you is that Costarina is a very special olive oil. And I wanna teach you, the audience, how to tell the difference between a high quality extra virgin olive oil and lesser oils. So I'll teach you a couple of tricks. What I've done here is I've poured Costarina into a small glass. What you wanna do is actually warm the glass to bring the aromas out, kind of warm it in your hand and bring it around and then bring it right to your nose. Take a big inhale and what you should smell is something fresh. Mm -hmm. You should smell grass, florals, green vegetables. The next thing that you wanna do, and actually if you compare that scent to something from the supermarket, you'll probably notice that a regular olive oil from the supermarket will be odorless or you may even smell of plastic. The next thing you'll want to do is actually taste it. So in my training to become an olive oil sommelier, I learned that to taste an olive oil properly, you want to put a little bit into your mouth, swirl it around, and then bring air into your mouth while you swallow. It actually feels and sounds a little ridiculous, but I'll show you how it's done. But you know, as you do that, Katerina, I think the thing that's interesting is you are a sommelier, which I think we talk about that with wine and in terms of the bouquet and yes. the aroma. This is a really curated delight. It elevates, of course, your palate, but we are doing, for the next 600 of you, and Steve, whenever we can show that quantity left, that would be great. But here is kind of, we talk about soul source gemstones here, uh, Katerina, and we're talking about going to the epicenter for the finest olives and obviously the finest olive oil in the world to curate these in these limited batches, aren't we? Yes, exactly. And what you are just seeing are photos of my family in southern Greece. We are from southern Greece, which is essentially olive country. We know what good olive oil tastes like and knew that what we were finding here was not early harvest. And early harvest olive oil actually preserves the natural antioxidant content in that olive oil. And when you taste it, you should actually feel a slight burn at the back of your throat. If you don't feel that burn, it's not early harvest and it's not the most premium quality. And this will really add incredible depth of flavor to anything that you make. In our household, we cook our eggs in it, we dip our bread in it, we make salads, marinate chicken, we even bake with it. Uh, we make olive oil cakes mm. and, and actually lots of other treats. And I think you'll taste the flavor. Oh man. That is good. I'm trying to find a white background. Dustin, I'll put my hands behind it. And you know, oh, you know what? I'll take one of my float sheets. <clears throat> Just so, let me get you one without writing on. Katerina, part of the reason I'm doing that is we talk about the color or the flavor. Can you see that? I mean, talk about the importance of that bottle as well. I mean, you can really almost see the flavor. Yeah. But you, you want um, your bottle to be opaque as opposed to translucent. Am I saying that correctly? That's exactly right. So it should never be bottled in plastic. You should always be, have olive oil in glass. It should be opaque because light and heat are actually the enemy to good olive oil. It'll degrade the quality and mm. degrade the flavor. So our white bottle is actually on purpose so that we can protect the quality and the integrity of that olive oil. Beautiful. Oh, ma'am. So Katarina, you have to keep talking. I'm because, glad you're enjoying it. <laughs> because I am digging in. And what's so nice about this is we talk about not only the taste and the flavor and the profile and the curated edition and only 600 of these to go around. Frankly, even on its own, it is uh, like a taste bud explosion and sensation. But also, I know I was talking about the Andrew Lesman Choco Nouveau today's special that's coming up on Sunday. Andrew is a true gourmand, but Katerina, it's really true. If we talk about even the health benefits of the Mediterranean diet, and listen, you can Google, just type in olive oil or benefits of olive oil, health benefits of olive oil, and the olive oil matters, doesn't it? 
Yeah, absolutely. And olive oil really is the cornerstone to the Mediterranean diet and lifestyle. And um, the early harvest nature of a good olive oil really will bring those benefits from the antioxidants that come from that olive. It is indeed. And I should also... Uh, yeah, I should also mention it makes such a beautiful gift. I mean, we have so many holiday parties coming up. It's really the perfect hostess or host gift. Um, instead of bringing a bottle of wine, everyone loves a good olive oil. Not everyone drinks. You may not know what kind of wine they like, but everyone loves a good olive oil. And I'll guarantee that your friends and family are calling to thank you months after the holidays are over. They are indeed. Hey, by the way, Thomas, Thomas H., you are our $25 gift card winner for this hour. Thomas, thank you so much for watching and, and shopping. And um, actually, <laughs> next, next time I'll be better prepared when we're in the kitchen to find room for all my baggage. I've, had, I've, been, I've been struggling to find places to put all my Shannon sense. Um, so I didn't have room out here for the iPad, but, and thank you, Sierra, for doing this. Um, that really helps that color pop. And it's almost like when you look at a fine wine, and Katerina, that's great that you were talking about um, swirling it, really kind of getting that mouth flavor and forward feel as you would taste a great wine, is you can see the depth of not only color, but you can almost um, get a sensibility of the depth of flavor with this as well. Obviously, if it's standing alone as a bread dipper without any ancillary spices or seasonings, listen, if it's good enough to stand on its own, it doesn't matter if you use this in a marinade or a dressing or just even a little drizzle on something, or certainly when you're um, cooking with it, it's hard to go wrong with this, isn't it? Yes, it really does elevate anything that you're tasting, at least anything that you're cooking. And you're right, this olive oil with a little bit of salt is just perfection. Well, and think about that, whether it's your caprese salad, whether it is just a little bit of flavor enhancement on like a tzatziki uh, uh, sauce or on a Greek salad. Katerina, do you have some favorite ways to do this or any kind of recommendations for when people give this as a gift or when they get it at home? Yeah, I typically buy a beautiful wine bag and I bring it as a gift. I also gift the duo just like this. Um, and, you know, I think that it really is such a beautiful kitchen accessory. It looks beautiful in any kitchen. It'll dress up holiday tablescapes. And so it's, it's something that lasts for the host or the hostess that you're bringing it to, whereas the bottle of wine will be gone before the party's over. Um, the olive oil will remain, uh, and they'll be able to use it after, uh, after the event point. is over. And remember, you are getting the two, you know, the two uh, 500 milliliter or uh, 50 millimeter. Sorry, I can't even see the new studio. 500 milliliters, there we go. I, I need better eyes, <laughs> is what I need. Um, but then the gift box packaging, these beautiful opaque um, decanters, which is what you want. And then this wonderful stopper as well, which really kind of replicates like a, almost like a fine wine experience. And when you consider the value, let alone the curated quality of this, now only a couple hundred to go around. And this is, to my knowledge, your only airing of the weekend. So definitely take advantage of it. Uh, Katerina, I know we've got some other things we're gonna remind people about, but even if they didn't get a chance to to share this educated um, session with us. You give this and it just, it makes a statement for anyone, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It's such a beautiful gift. You'll, you can't go wrong. Thank you, Katerina. Nice to have you here. Uh, again, continued success. We look forward to seeing you back here soon. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, take good care. All right, bye-bye. All right, in case you missed it, thank you, Steve, you read my mind. The one-of-a-kind searing oven. The one-of-a-kind searing oven.